like a, um, a tap there so that that's a stopper and make sure that uh, it's open. So that's now turned on, the water flow from the from yeah, the leak. Okay, so it goes through here. Yeah. Okay, into the pump. And that's now there, out, out of this pump. That's the seawater pump. Yeah, it's the seawater pump. Yep. Goes out of there, comes back up into the heat exchanger. Okay, so that's the fresh water, that's the, the raw water side through there. Okay, so and then it the exits out of there, out through the exhaust. Okay. So okay. that's the that's the path of the seawater. Okay. Okay, so that has got a row of bolts there. It's yep. got an O-ring, rubber O-ring in there, and an impeller. So you just pluck that out, whack a new one in. There's a little cam ring there. Uh, yeah, there's a little cam ring that is sort of shaped like that. And that the impeller bends the, the, the rubber tags over and creates the flow. So if there's a blockage of the seawater system, the first thing to check is the impeller which is inside that plate. Does that, and that creates the flow. Right. Okay, so it goes round, creates the flow, and then the water travels through the whole system. Right. Okay. So is it something that you should tap, and you can put that in there, because it's not going to go through this way, because the pump won't, will, will stop the flow. Okay, so that's to flush the system. Yeah, that's that basically to flush that system, heat exchanger, out through the... Water? Uh, yeah, fresh water. The salt water goes through a stack of tubes like that. Yep. So it's something like that. Yep. The sea water goes through there and out there. Yep. Okay, that's the cooling medium, and then the rest of the water flows around the outside of that. Okay. So through the system goes from there into the water pump. The fresh water we're now talking about. Flow this water. Yep, yeah, right. that's the suction side, so the pump sucks the water from there, goes through the engine, comes back out through the thermostat, there's a thermostat under there, right. that regulates the temperature, okay. controls the opening and closing, which regulates the temperature, back into there, gets cooled, does the flow through, through, through again. Right. There's a sender there for the temperature, that, that's a warning device on your dashboard. Yeah, to tell you that the water's too water's hot. too hot. So yeah. something's gone wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is in here. Which is sucking the fresh water and coolant. Uh, pull this cover off. Actually, oh, somebody, somebody in the shop said, "Get rid of that." No, don't get rid of it. Rid of it. No, no. Well, it's there to stop. It's a health and safety issue, basically. Right. What it does is stops you putting your hand in there and yeah. it stops things inadvertently falling in there. So, okay, see, now you can see the flow. Crankshaft turns, alternator belt. Yep. Okay, so you've got to maintain um, tension on that belt, so that's about perfect. A little push like that. Yep. You shouldn't be able to, you should, you should be able to turn the engine with two fingers like that. Yeah. If you can turn that without turning the crank, it's too loose. Okay. okay, so you've got... And I'm tensioning that using this nut here, is that right? No, no, this one down here. See, this one's on a slide. Yep. You come around this side. Yep. You loosen that one off. Yep. And then you just put a something small in there and just lever it out. And okay. so you get that tension. So that's your, your um, alternator belt tension okay. to work. If it doesn't have water in it, yep. it'll burn out. That's the centrifugal pump, so that means that if there's water in there or not, that pump won't get damaged at all. But this one will. It has to have water all the time. Right. Okay, so that's imperative that um, your cooling system from this point down yep. is maintained. We're coming out? You take that one off and yep. blow through that hose. Right. And you should be able to blow physically through that hose. Right. Okay. Now, if you can't, well, you can suspect either that hose or that tap, or there's a blockage between there and there. Okay. Okay. That's a like, pretty rare sort of occurrence. I don't think you're going to have that happen to you. Okay. Doing maintenance on the belt that drives yes. the so you want to say you want to change that belt. Yep. You've got to take that nut off there and the one off there. That's the adjusting one. So yep. you see the slot in it? There? Yes. Okay, so that comes out this way. That's the Give it a spin. If the bearings sound a bit rattly, change the bearings. 
that they usually good for a, a, a while. That would be something I'd be looking at doing at least once a year, doing right. a bearing check on it. Okay. Okay. The red stuff. Use Yanmar coolant. Yep. Yep. You can use uh, other types of coolant, but ours is specifically designed for these engines and it's not that expensive. So um, that would be something I'd also do once every 12 months. Just uh, do it. If you have an overheat problem. Yeah, yep. if you have an overheat problem, uh, suspect either the water flow through here, you haven't got enough water flow through there, a blockage in that. Or thermostat. Easiest one to do first is the thermostat. And the thermostat is sits under here. Okay, those two bolts, that hose off, and there's a the little thermostat that opens and closes that sits on top of there. Okay. That that's the hot side there and that's the cold side there. So it goes out of there through your heat exchanger and your hot water system back into there. Okay, so that that basically how that works is Thermosiphon system basically, uh, the hot always rises, and this, because it's on the suction side of the pump, it'll suck the water back through. Oh, this centrifugal yeah. uh, coolant pump yeah. is a thing that looks very like this. Yeah, basically, and, and, and behind there, yeah. there's just a, a row of fins similar to that fan like that. Right. It looks very much like that. You won't have to do anything on that. It's pretty much take it off, throw it away, put a new one on. Okay. okay, so this thing will run without water, that won't. Right. There's no water there, it's not going to hurt it. But because that one's a displacement one, isn't it? Yeah. the rubber... Well, this is something that really needs fixing, is that right? This one? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah I mean, you can get some, sometimes I'll have a premature failure, but very, very little. There's a telltale sign there, so if you've got coolant, red coolant coming out of there, then your pump needs replacing, which yeah. is... And that's the telltale sign there. And then there's the bearings in there. So that's sealed, you can't do anything with that. Yep. And you basically can't do anything with that. Right. So, yeah. so that pipe yep. there's exhaust. another pipe. That's the exhaust pipe, right? Okay, so there's a. See, the, if you can see yep. in there, there's another pipe. Yep. All that cool water comes down through there. Okay. Okay, now that's very vitally important when it's set up that it's got no corrosion. They do corrode because they're only made of steel. Well, yeah. that's stainless steel. So that's basically your exhaust. You just that's called the mixer. The mixer. Yep. That's where the water mixes yep. with the exhaust. Yep. And, and you take that, that off. Is yeah. there a gasket in there? Yeah, there's a gasket in there. Yeah. 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 There's your gasket there. Yeah. And you basically disconnect this, disconnect that, yeah. and then flush the whole thing out and clean yeah. it and put a fresh gasket in it. Yeah. Yeah. Clean it or, or just have a look and see how the corrosion is. Because it's seawater and because it's hot, yep you will eventually wear this out, so you do have to replace these at some point in time. They don't last forever. Yep. That's just the nature of hot, salty water. Yep. Okay, now they're made out of stainless steel, so they're impervious to um, to no ring there. Yep. And there's an O-ring around the outside. And these can't get it, get it out in the part. either take the alternator off or I take the whole face plate off, which is these nuts, yeah, right? Yeah, the whole manifold. Yep. Which means draining the coolant. Oh, well, you've got to drain the cooling system anyway, yep. because that's got coolant going around the whole unit, yep. and the only sea water is going through there. So corrosion shouldn't really be a problem. It's only going to be a blockage of these cores. Yep. Uh, and basically, it's going to sit there like that. So you're going to see that. So you can either get a piece of thin wire and just carefully yep. go up and down it, just to make sure that you get rid of all the, the garbage. And then flush, yes. have a hose on it and flush the, the crap out of it, really. Mm. You don't want mixing of uh, salt water and uh, fresh water. So if there's a leak in the water in the uh, heat exchanger, there could be uh, pressure dribbling out of here. Yep. There's a coolant coming out of there, or possibly... Or oh, no, that'll be, yeah, there'll be coolant coming out of there. Dribbling um, out of there, or possibly coolant appearing in the exhaust, exhaust water. Yep. Okay. Tells you the thing is like 100 or 75, and that tells you the degree of elasticity of the rubber. Right. They uh, make sure that if you do have to change one, yep. you put the right one on the right side. 